hard to believe that our final guest has been in the music business for nearly 20 years. It was at the tender age of just 16 he joined the Irish band Boyzone. And over the past two decades, we've seen him grow into a hugely successful pop star and also grow from boy to man. You're going, oh, don't show that one, don't show that one. <laughs> I can't believe you're only 20 years. You can't believe it, I can't oh. believe it, I know. It's you scary. don't look any older. Oh, I feel it. Well, you don't look any older, don't everybody? You're not a year Thank older. It's just fantastic. fantastic. And good new album out now, Fires. Yes, that's the latest one. Which yeah. is wonderful. And we're going to hear uh, uh, Wasted Light yeah, later, later on, on yeah. in the show, aren't we? That's just right. a few, which is your new single yeah. as well. But tell us about the album. Um, well, it's been six years from in the making, basically, for a studio. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I had the Burt Backrack record last year mm -hmm. and uh, songs my mother the year before yeah. that. So it was a, a strange time for me trying to figure out where yeah. I was going musically. And uh, I kind of decided I was just going to make a pop record. So that's what I did. I just went back to my roots and made a pop record. And I feel my best. I know everyone says that when it's their new album, but I do feel it's my <laughs> best piece of work. I do. So what sort of style is this, this album? It's pop music. It's just pop. out now pop. I've been back working with Greg Alexander from Life is a Roller Coaster and Loving Each Day and a lot of the songwriters I worked with in the past. And it just has, it's just, it feels like my first solo record, that first album I made, Ronin. It, it kind of has that feel. Uh -huh. What yeah. inspired the songs? Um, people or things that have happened I mean, to it's you. not autobiographical in mm. any way, but uh, you know, you can't help but, you know, when you're writing, you draw from your emotions and so on. But yeah, I didn't. It's, there's no stories in there about anybody in any way. Um, it's just pop music. It's it's an optimistic pop record. Is that to do with working in Australia? Because you've spent a lot of time there, and it's such a positive country. It is a very positive country, yeah. But I'm in a, I'm in a very positive place. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling <laughs> optimistic and positive and good. So yeah, I, I, kind of those songs come out of you, I think, generally. But yeah, Australia is a has that feeling. And you did the X Factor. In I it. did. I had great fun on the show with Mel B and. Uh, I Guy thought Sebastian. she was too much. Ah, she's great fun. Oh no. <laughs> Exactly what you need on no, the No, but you were not like that. No, but you need a balance. We can't all be sitting there going, that yeah, that was great. You need someone who's going, what are you doing? That was shocking. You know, whatever. <laughs> oh. she's, she's great. I and love that. And that's now. three seasons you've done that's that That's season three right? now, yeah. yeah. Do yeah. you have a game plan as a judge? Are you Simon or...? I guess I just down the middle, straight, honest. If it's terrible, you've got to tell them it was terrible. It was great. You uh -huh. know, tell them it was and great. And have you found people you've gone, yes? Yeah, actually, the guys I was looking after this year, a boy band called The Collective, and they were third. Um, they didn't win it, but I think they're fantastic, and I think they could sell records here in, in, you know, in the UK and in Europe yeah. and so on. So I'm going to represent them and, and see what I can oh, do fantastic, with them. Fantastic, yeah. because you represented Westlife. Yeah, as well, what, what, 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. yeah. That was and I want to know about this acting now. You've made a film. Finally, I did, yeah. And but, what yeah. do you play? I play uh, <laughs> <laughs> What do you no, think? I guess it. No, go on, no, go on, try me. What do you think? Pop star. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a marine biologist. I'm a marine biologist. There you go. I, uh, I play the husband of Laura Michelle Kelly, English right. girl, actually. She plays the lead. It's a romantic comedy stroke musical. She does a couple of songs, uh, seven songs in the film all around. But it's, it's a gorgeous film, really lovely. Comes out in March, and uh, I, was, I loved it. I didn't want it to end. I had a great experience. So we do more? I hope so. Oh, you've got see. the bug, you see? I've definitely got the bug. I just need some people to believe in me. You have got yeah. a look of Clint Eastwood to me. Ooh. I Clint Eastwood? <laughs> <laughs> So I see that, Jane. Young, Clint. I don't see that. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we see you acting That's a little cool. bit on Goddess? Oh, yeah. You got some? Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Deadly. That's <laughs> 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 Great. Oh, remember the deal. Yeah. Your deal. The deal you proposed to me. You look after the kids till they start school, then it's my turn. Where are the stars? Where is the sky? Where is the chart to guide us by? Where is the map? Where is the part? Where are you frozen? I haven't 
seen that. It's good to see that. You know, as you go along, you get to see rushes, you get to see bits yeah. and pieces, but to, you know, to that see that like cute, that. I'm, it? I'm very nervous about it, but it's exciting. Yeah. Are, you, are you ready for the premiere? Are you going to go to the big premiere when it comes well, well, out? I'm actually on tour in Australia in March, which conveniently, you know, is the same time as the, as the Australian premiere, 7th of March. And then, yeah, wherever I can be after that, I'll be. You know, hopefully there'll be a UK one, let's see. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, well, this will be great, yeah. though, because this could be a whole new career for you now. Yeah. Not that you need another one. You've got how many careers now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I'd love to continue to do it. I would. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I didn't want it to end, as I said. I mean, it was real, really magical. And you're saying about being on tour in March with Brian McFadden. Yeah, I start in the UK. I start here in the uh, beginning of Jan. Yeah. And I'm touring throughout the UK, Ireland, and, and then down to Australia. And Brian's on tour with me, which I'm delighted. Mm. Is he coming over here as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, he'll be here in the UK with me. Yeah. I can't wait. Uh, really look forward to that. great to have such an, like the memories and an old friend and somebody yeah, you can Yeah, well, he's, share. Been, he's been away for so long. He's yeah. been in Australia and, you know, he's just made a new record. So he's going to come back and launch the record and tour with me. And he's very enthusiastic, ready to do it again. And, uh, oh, well, somebody's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> You've got an Australian partner now, Storm. Will you be spending more time there? How are you going to split your life? No. I'll be here. I'll be here most of the time. We will be. Um, my kids are in Dublin, obviously, so I need to be around them as much as we can. You know, we'll hop forward and back. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Renan, we could talk forever, but we yeah. can't, Let's. sadly, because we've run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you I for am. the timing. Ronan Keaton. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah.